So just a quick video to show a problem I sometimes have with the uh, with cue points, temporary cue points when setting them on the controllers like this old Denon DJ MC3000. What happens is that uh, if I press play, I have a cue point, I press play, and I press Q to go back to my cue point. And then what happens is it continues to set new one. So new cue point, and setting a new one, setting a new one instead of going back. So why does it do that? Well, it seems to be because the jack wheel is in a position where it's sending messages so that VGDA thinks that you're actually touching or moving the jack wheel a little bit so that you want to set new cue points, but of course you don't. So what you can do is you can try touching it and it may go away, but uh, what I find to be most effective is to just press the, the vinyl mode button. So go into vinyl mode and then go back and then your cue button works again like it should so that it goes back to your cue point instead of setting a new one. So I, I have it happen quite a few times on this uh, old Denon. And I think I've also seen it happen a few times on cheaper controls but I don't think it's ever happened to me on for instance my my Reloop Terminal Mix 8. So it's kind of some some controllers seem to be prone to do, to do this bug. So this is just a quick video to, to, to illustrate how you can get out of it uh, if, if it happens to you while DJing.